Hi, I'm Brennan Spiegel. I'm the co-editor-in-chief of the American Journal of Gastroenterology, and I'm also a professor of medicine and public health at Cedars-Sinai and at UCLA. Now, in this brief video, I just want to provide an update about what we're learning regarding how COVID-19 can cause diarrhea. It's not a topic we love to talk about under normal circumstances, but we are seeing diarrhea uh, in people who have COVID-19. And I know many people are at home sort of thinking about the symptoms they're experiencing and wondering, could this be COVID-19, particularly if they are having a new diarrhea? So what do we know about this um, aspect of COVID-19? Well, early on in the pandemic, when it first occurred in Wuhan, China, the doctors there noticed that many of the patients coming into the hospital, of course, were coming for respiratory symptoms primarily, but they noticed that a lot of them also had diarrhea. About 20% of the patients being admitted to the hospital appear to have diarrhea. Now, a question that comes up is, does the diarrhea happen first and then the respiratory symptoms? Do they happen together? How often is it just occurring with diarrhea, but no respiratory symptoms? Well, most of the time, these patients are coming in with both symptoms. But in some cases, the diarrhea does come first, can precede the respiratory symptoms by days or even a week or more in some of the cases that I've been hearing about from colleagues around the world contacting us at the American Journal of Gastroenterology. Now, here's the thing about the diarrhea. Thankfully, this is not the type of diarrhea in general that is like cholera. So cholera can cause really high volume diarrhea where people get extremely dehydrated and tragically can die from that form of diarrhea. That's generally not what we're seeing with COVID-19 diarrhea. We're seeing it generally as a lower volume type of diarrhea that occurs on average about, um, about four times per day. And it lasts on average for about five days when it does happen. The range in the literature from one study I was involved with is between one and 14 days in duration. Can it last longer? I'm sure it can. Um, and can it be very quick? Yes, it, it can be quick as well. We don't yet know how to predict uh, when it's going to be longstanding and when it isn't going to be longstanding. Now, as I said, most of the time, this diarrhea is not dehydrating, but we did publish one case report in our journal last week that was of a patient who came in with very voluminous diarrhea, a lot of diarrhea, very, very watery, to the point where this patient became dehydrated and even had some kidney problems as a result of this dehydration. The patient also had very low sodium levels and low potassium levels. And this may have been related to the kidney issues and the diarrhea. And we're also learning that in some cases, it seems that COVID-19 can really affect electrolytes through maybe other mechanisms as well we don't know about. So I'd only say uh, for doctors that are listening right now, uh, when diarrhea uh, is starting anew, particularly if there's fever, you should at least think about during this time uh, COVID-19, including in rare instances of really watery diarrhea. Now, uh, one thing people want to know about is how often does fever occur? And you know, the, the good news, if, if there's anything good here, is usually, although not always, but usually there is a fever. So if you have some small amount of loose stools right now and no fever and no other symptoms, it's probably unlikely you have COVID-19. Uh, as I've talked about in some other videos, literally just stress alone can cause loose stools, stomach aches, nausea, headaches, feelings like you might be infected, but stress does not cause fever. Uh, but what we are finding though is that fever occurs in about 70 to 75 percent of patients with COVID diarrhea. That does mean about a quarter of the time there isn't a fever. Now, what do I recommend? Uh, always talk to your doctor. This video is not a substitute for medical advice. If you are having loose stools and you're wondering, particularly if you have a fever, contact your doctor. Uh, whether we're in a pandemic or not, if you have diarrhea and fever, you should assume that could be infectious diarrhea. It could be other things too, but it could be infectious diarrhea, which means you should isolate yourself, call your doctor. 
be very careful in the bathroom to make sure, especially if you're sharing a bathroom with other people, to flush the toilet with the, with the lid down, uh, to make sure that the seat is cleaned down, that the handle is cleaned down. Uh, and if there are other people sharing a bathroom, maybe use different rolls of toilet paper for different people. Uh, for those that are sharing the bathroom with you, um, if they reach for toilet paper, reach for the handle, do not touch your face until you have uh, cleaned your hands. Um, and this is because we are finding evidence of the virus in the stool of people who have diarrhea and COVID. What we don't yet know is whether that means the stool is truly infectious or not. And we're still learning about that. And I have another video where I talk about that. But suffice it to say, until we know for sure that it's not infectious, uh, we should all take care to be clean in the bathroom. And I think that's good in any event, whether we're in a pandemic or not. So I hope this provides a little more information about the diarrhea of COVID-19 and what we're learning. And I'll provide more updates uh, as I learn them. So again, this is not a substitute for medical advice. Please call your doctor if you have any questions. Hopefully this information is helpful. Be well.